Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Granville, Pennsylvania, on Saturday, October the 21st, handicapping for dayatthetrack.com. Let's take a look at race four, 8.16 p.m. Eastern Post Time, mile test on the dirt track. We have fillies and mares, three years old and up, racing for a star allowance prize of $17,100. Contenders number two, Elnoth. Number four, Amanda's Best. Number three, Roman Reign. And number seven, Valerie Victoria. Number two, Elmoth qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Takes a five-level Trackmaster class drop. The overall speed and pace profile leader has hit the board in power run fashion. Four of her last five outings, including back-to-back -back power run wins in her third and fourth races back. Jockey Angel Rodriguez and trainer Tim Kreiser sent her to the post. They've hit the board with an impressive 66% of nearly 150 entry saddles attained to date. Number four, Amanda's best, a 4 to 1 shot, has turned in power run performances in each of her last four outings, hitting the board in three, including a power run win in her third race back. Race four, summary number two, Elmoth. Top six contenders list today here at Penn Nat which also includes number four, Amanda's Best, number three, Roman Reign, and number seven, Valerie Victoria. That's two, four, three, seven, and the fourth from Penn National. Have some Saturday long shots here to ponder. Let's go to Keeneland, race six, the four to one shot. Number four, Woodman's Luck, drops in class by three units, sit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five, winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency. Charlestown, race two, number four, crossing borders, a six to one shot, drops in class by two units, has hit the board in power run fashion in each of his last three outings. So handicapping from Penn National on a Saturday night, I'll probably be there, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.